Me Grimlock no see Dinobots. Me Grimlock only see Glacial Bots. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a third party figure set from Fans Project, and it is Mega Zero, the Glacial Bot from the Glacial Lord Combiner series Retro Future. And as you can tell, this one is completely different. All the others had this kind of um, retro G1 style and uh, distressed boxing. This one, completely different. It's very rainbowy and pretty. What it is, uh, I believe, I want to say it was um, an April Fool's joke where uh, this was the last figure that was released in the set, which was kind of strange. I thought that uh, Tusker, the mammoth, would be. But he was released uh, last, and um, yeah, they said that there was a, an accident in shipping, and the entire shipping container dropped in the ocean because the crane operator was playing with the toy. Uh, and they uh, did find some Korean uh, figures to replace everybody's stuff. So that's what this is kind of meant to be. Looks like a Korean release box, which is kind of different, I guess. Um, looking at the box, uh, I do like it. It looks pretty cool. The rainbows are kind of weird. Um, of course, I cannot read a word that's on here. We got a picture of uh, Glacial Lord back there looking really cool. Um, the Fans Project logo, very awesome stuff. Uh, up here on the top, again, we got a picture of Glacial Lord giving a thumbs up. And then uh, a bunch of writing I don't understand in the G1 style character there. The bottom of the package uh, has the same thing, uh, same image of Glacial Lord. And we got the robot and uh, the... I guess he's a, a, a an elk of some kind? I'm not really sure. Um, well, the others tell you what they are, but since I don't read Korean, I can't tell you. Um, I'm guessing that it's Korean. He forms the right arm, it appears, on Glacial Lord. This side, we've got... Uh, I do like the kind of ice background there, the Arctic look. That's pretty cool stuff. Definitely digging that. And then here's the back of the package. And this is where things get very interesting. I do like this. Um, we've got, of course, the combination set of what uh, Mega Zero can do. And then we have this. Look at this. I really like this. This is uh, an homage to the original G1 artwork box set. Like Optimus Prime and Megatron and all of them fighting and attacking. And we've got all the fans project stuff. We've got Glacial Lord there in the bottom right corner. Up in the top right, there's Smart Robin. Um, Code, I believe, is somewhere there he is in the background, it looks like. we got Quadruple U right there. Um, I can't remember who that robot is. Looks like there's a Nemesis Prime type guy. Another giant combiner, not sure who that is. But the key thing that I really, really am interested in, look... We've got uh, Mind Wipe and the little crocodile down there, the Headmasters. So are we going to get some more Headmasters? Very interesting to see. Um, very cool stuff. So let's get the package open and see what it comes with. All right, so here is Mega Zero opened up, and this is what you get. Obviously, once again, we get the instruction sheet that's all G1 style. Uh, very cool stuff. Uh, yellow, not really much of a surprise as... Um, you know, his giant yellow antlers. Um, now, unlike the other ones, his sticker sheet is completely um, filled. So no stickers have been applied, which kind of would match the fact that that box is not distressed. So this is a brand new, a brand new toy, apparently. Um, yeah, interesting. So here he is in the package, looking cool. Here is our little Beast Rider guy. Again, that rainbow set. I'm not really sure what the deal is up with that. Um, maybe the Aurora Borealis? Is that, what, is, is that what that is? I think so. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a message. I'm betting that's what that's probably supposed to be. So, pretty cool stuff. Let's get him out of package and see what we think.
All right, so here we have Mega Zero out of the Styrofoam. And to be honest, I didn't think I was going to like this guy too terribly much, but he's not bad at all. Um, he does have some drawbacks to him. Um, again, the plastic quality is really nice. feels a lot like the um, quadruple U code Headmaster stuff, like I've said before. Um, his color scheme is pretty decent. He's kind of a mix between gray and red. And, of course, his horns, uh, yellow horns, predominant right there. Now, he does have a lot of really nice molded detail on the horns. Kind of hard to see in this this light. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. He's got these nice big yellow paint amps. His eyes are painted blue. Um, now, the biggest drawback is when you have him and his little Beast Rider in there, his neck piece just doesn't seem like it wants to go all the way down. I don't know if that's my particular toy or if that's all of them. Uh, when he's not in there, that folds in perfectly fine. Uh, but yeah, overall, I do like him. He's very tall uh, with this. Now, the antlers are on a ball joint. They come kind of like this, straight back um, when you pull him out of the package. So he is like that. If you want to do it like that, you can put them at a straight piece, which is pretty much what they show on the package, or you can put them at angles if you really wanted to, I suppose. I just kind of like them straight out like that. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. So let's show him off with all the other kind of limb pieces here. All right, so here are all of the glacial bots together in their beast modes, looking all cool and glacially. Um, definitely a cool set. I'm really, really digging him. Um, again, he's probably the weakest, I think, of all of them. Maybe? I don't know. I, I do like him, don't get me wrong. Um, I just think, I think Fangro is probably my favorite of all of these uh, figure sets here. So let's uh, get this guy um, out of his beast mode and get him into his beast rider mode. All right, so here we have Mega Zero in his robot mode, and not too terribly bad. I do like him. Um, I love how his sword, uh, the antlers, spin around to make this really cool-looking sword. Um, I thought that was pretty darn cool. I actually had to look in the instructions to just figure out how to do it. I was like, there's got to be a way. Um, I, now, like I said, I did apply the stickers uh, for his robot mode. Um, which uh, looks pretty darn cool. Really dig him. Now, when uh, you transform him, his legs kind of fold up. Uh, they fold up here, and then his little arm pieces come out, which is kind of cool, kind of neat. Uh, of course, then his legs come down. They're nice and blocky. Not much articulation, but again, it's a G1-style figure, so you're not going to get that. And I love the holes uh, in the in the set here. This thing actually has a lot of really cool detail. Um, I do I do like that. I really do appreciate that. Um, very cool stuff. I am really digging that. So um, one thing I did notice um, with him, because this is in Korean, you can't really uh, see what his little animal is. It's a Mega Keru, which is a type of extremely large prehistoric caribou. And that makes sense, uh, and it kind of fits the name. I see where they get that name from. So here are all of the glacial bots in robot mode all together. Very cool stuff. I really do like them. Of course, this is all the appendage uh, robots that will form um, Mega Zero. Uh, Mega Zero. <laughs> will form Glacial Lord. Uh, Mega Zero being this particular figure. Uh, very cool stuff. So I was a little out of order, but let's get these guys into beast riding mode and see what we think. All right, so here we have Mega Zero out of his beast mode, ready to go beast riding. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's pretty basic like the others. I like the big red visor. He does have a different uh, chest piece there. His The yellow is kind of a canary yellow. I did go ahead and apply the stickers for his robot mode. I didn't mess with the other ones. Um, just like the other sets. Uh, but yeah, so, and if you notice, his the neck piece on the elk or caribou, I'm presuming this might be a caribou, um, really looks a lot better when he's not in it. And then let's see if we can get him in here. Urgh, he's a tight fit. So uh, the issue with this guy, look at that. He's, but I mean, I guess you can see. Woohoo! 
he really kind of looks like he's riding the most out of all of them because his hands kind of come up next to it. it looks like those could be like bridle straps or something so yeah sure i guess uh he just kind of gets hidden behind those giant antlers um overall i mean i like the figure a lot i think it looks really really cool um it's this is just a great concept like i said this is a great um pickup from where the headmasters had left off so here are all of the other put this back here all the different beast riders together so here are all the appendages uh that form glacial lord um so we've got fangro we've got razor spike we have uh, tail club and mega zero uh very cool stuff they look really cool together they all look different but in the same color scheme uh i really do dig that uh, I love the G1 style. As far as articulation on this guy, there really isn't any. Uh, he is pretty much, that's it. That's where he stands. That's what you get. He does have a little molded tail. That's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to get this guy together uh, and form Glacial Lord. I think he's going to look pretty darn cool. Um, again, if you don't like G1 toys, this is not the set for you at all. And apparently my parrot hates them. Uh, yeah, I just, I really do like it, but because I grew up with the G1 toys, I think that's why I really like it. And I love the fact that this is an original set with that homage to the G1 characters. So there he is, Mega Zero with all of his little buddies. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hated it, thumbs it down. Leave me a comment, subscribe, share my videos. I do appreciate it, guys. And as always, look for more videos in the retro future. I'm, I'm guessing that's where that's at.